You know what your kayak trolling motor is missing? A kill switch. Let me show you how to make one for under 10 bucks. Power boats all have kill switches, so if the driver falls overboard, the motor disconnects, shuts off, and the boat doesn't go charging away. But how do you do that on your kayak? You've got your electric trolling motor here. If you happen to fall out, and of course the kayak doesn't flip over, then the kayak's going to keep on going, but you're stuck where you are. So maybe you should put a kill switch into your kayak. Well, I was struggling with this because I'm, I'm a safety guy, and I finally came up with a way to create a kill switch for a kayak for under $10. Let me show you what it looks like. Here's the material you need to make the kill switch. It's basically working off a fuse. Now my trolling motor requires a 40 amp fuse on 10 gauge wire, and that's what this is. I got this on Amazon, and two of these were about eight bucks. And here's the 40 amp fuse. So what you're gonna do, well, let me explain the theory here. Your trolling motor is only gonna work when the fuse is in there. So from the kill switch, I've come up with a way where when you fall off your kayak, this is going to come out and that's going to kill the trolling motor. So here's what I did. The first thing is I went ahead and cut this off. Now this was IP67 rated, which meant that it was very, very waterproof, but I did not feel like that was a big deal because it'll be sitting out of the water most of the time. And what I did is I sliced the rubber to be able to run a piece of 50 pound mono through there and then I made a very small hole right here above the the wire in the fuse that way I'm not breaking the fuse but I could then thread the mono through the cover this goes back up in there and then this gets assembled back and you can push it all the way in now this gets then spliced into the red lead coming from your trolling motor and now when you fall off you run another cord through this mono and when you fall it's going to pull out and that's going to cut your trolling motor off so let's look at the rest of the build with what i'm going to attach this to that'll go to my hand i'm making the cord out of trimmer line and basically you just get a dowel. I've got another video I'll link up on how to do this. Drill a couple holes through it, wrap it around, and then drop it in boiling water. That will lock in the curves and I'll show you that in a minute. Now we need to attach this to our wrist and tie an overhand knot to get a loop. Stick that through and then just run the running end back through it and now you're going to have a nice loop connection loop to loop connection here that's going to be you know pretty decent then you have to make the decision of how you want to connect this to your wrist and i would recommend doing a slip knot because then you can release it if you get in trouble so let's go ahead and do that very simple make a loop Make another loop on top, take the tag end and run it underneath, and then make another loop right there. Gently, gently, gently tighten it up because you want this loop to still stick through. And now you can put this on your wrist and tighten it down. And that's not going to go anywhere, but if you need to release it, you could just grab this end and give it a pull and everything's going to come off. So I've got it spliced into my trolling motor wire. I use this sure tape for now. I'll put electrical tape to wrap it all up. But you can see it still works just fine. The hum is my motor. I've got it connected to my hand. And if I ever fell out of the kayak, a yank is going to stop everything. As I was wrapping the wires with the electrical tape, it occurred to me that you probably do this anyway, but you ought to bring a couple extra fuses with you 
just in case when you yank this loose, one of the tines breaks off. Because once you get back in the boat, you want to keep going. So have some extras. So there you go, a kill switch for a kayak trolling motor. You know you need one. Here's a, a way to do it for under 10 bucks. If anyone has a better way to do this, please let me know because this is something that we all should be concerned about. Take care.